So number one then, the first question in the 2022 National 5 paper 2, 3 marks, expand and simplify this expression involving the product of two brackets. Now according to the marking scheme, if you just write down the correct answer, you'll get 3 out of 3. But you shouldn't really do that, because you're taking a chance with the mental gymnastics. You're as well setting out some of it at least. You probably don't need to set out exactly what it means, which I'll put down to begin with. That bracket multiplying this bracket means everything in this bracket has to multiply everything in that bracket. That's why the brackets are there. So the 3x is going to multiply all three of them, and the 2 is going to multiply all three of them. There's going to be six products, but they won't all be different because the biggest product will be an x cubed, and the smallest one, in terms of power size, will just be the constant. So there's only four different types of things there. But still, what it actually means is you've got 3x to multiply the whole lot, and you've got 2 to multiply the whole lot. Now, you don't need to put that line down. I'll put it in a bracket. That's just to keep yourself straight, because it's perfectly possible just to do it on the run. So 3x times 2x squared will be 3 twos or 6. x times x squared is x cubed. 3x times 5x, that'll be 3 fives or 15. x times x is x squared. 3x times 1 just stays 3x, but that's got a minus. Then move to this one. Now notice the sign. So 2 times that is 4x squared, but it's minus 4x squared. 2 fives are 10. 10x, but minus 10x. Now this one's negative, negative. That'll be plus 2. Now doing that gets two of the marks. Basically it's one mark for each of those expansions. Now you tidy it up. You've got six terms altogether, but only four different types. There's only one that says 6x cubed. There's only one that says a number, but there's two that say x squared. 15 take away 4, so that's 11. There's two that say x. 3 and 10, that makes minus 13x. There's only one that says 2. That gets the final mark. Now, according to the marking scheme, if you didn't put anything down and just put those four terms down correctly, you would also get a 3 out of 3. But you're probably best writing this out first of all. In case you make a mistake, just doing it all in your head. Number two then from the 2022 National 5 Paper 2 3 mark question. There it is, the percentage increase. The compound interest type question, if you like. It gives you the company's profit at the end of 2021. If that's expected to rise 3% each year, what would it be in 2025, four years later? Now, there's a really long way to do that and a very short way to do that. The short way is actually more accurate because you won't have to keep all these figures going and then have some rounding offs involved. The short way to do that, which is the best way, is simply to say this. If you've got an increase of 3%, that would result from multiplying by a factor of 3% more, means you've now got all you had plus 3, which is 103%, which as a decimal is 1.03. Now, knowing to use a factor of 1.03 is the first mark. In other words, 100% plus 3% which means out of 100, you've got 103 out of 100. That's what it would be as a common fraction. But you want it as a decimal fraction because that's easier to put into your calculator. And the next thing would be, instead of doing that four times altogether, you know, multiply by 1.03, you get the new answer. Multiply by 1.03, you get the new answer, which would be a bit tedious and pointless because all you're going to do is multiply by 1.03 four times, you can just say in one go, what would the profit be four years later? It'd be whatever it is to start with. I'll not put the pound sign in just now. Put it back afterwards. You increase that by 3% four times altogether, so you're multiplying by 1.03 four times. Putting this calculation down gets a mark. Now it's just a case of press the buttons. So you type in the required calculation, you press equals, 
and put down the answer first of all. 241984.39 and so on. And then check how you have to give the answer. It says give your answer to need is thousand pounds. So there's the columns for the thousand. So I want to stop at that column. So that means the profit's going to be two four. If I'm stopping at the one, there's a nine next, it'll be two four two. That's the thousands column. So you'll have to fill the zeros into the remaining hundreds, tens and units. Now really you shouldn't put point zero zero because that makes it look as if you've done it to the nearest pence. But in the marking scheme it said they'll still accept that, but it should really be that. So there's the final mark. One thing about the big, long, tedious way, if you chose to do that, which you shouldn't, you should never even consider that, is you'll have to be more careful about how you put numbers down. If you were to do it the really long way, which would be find 3%, and then add on 3%, get the new amount, and then find the next 3%, you'd have lots of intermediate answers. If your final answer has to have, which it has here, three significant figures, you should have your intermediate answers to one more figure. You'd have to write them all down with four significant figures at least, or just keep the whole lot, you know, the same way as this, which makes it even longer then. For instance, find 3%, add it on. Find 3%, Add it on. Find three percent. Add it on. Find three percent. Add it on. Read off. So doing that would obviously get you the correct answer, but it would just be ridiculous to do all that when you've got this simple technique of just using the increase factor, the required number of times.